Every time I build a night scene in Blender so far, I've needed neon sign at some point. In this tutorial, I will show you four ways you can create neon signs quickly and easily. If you don't want to create neon signs, by the end of this tutorial you can find how to download a pack of 70 neon signs and add them to the asset browser. I add glossy shader over emission and this already works as neon sign, but I don't want white flat color, so I import image texture. I created a collage with a lot of neon textures, so I can create more variations later. Now we can replace white color with texture we want in UV editor. To add more details, I mix the image texture with wave texture. Multiple blending modes will keep darker parts and make brighter parts transparent. This can imitate a CRT screen or something similar. To add even more details, I will multiple concrete texture for dirt. We can reuse concrete texture and plug it in roughness of glossy shader. Now we have a lot of details in the reaction with lights. To add even more details, we can create a part of neon sign with less light with noise texture. Now we can model the frame and structure and add a metal or plastic shader and we are done. create a new variation, we can just reproject the texture in the UV editor. We can also use a video file instead of a photo. Another way to create a neon sign is even simpler. We can start from the plane and project the image. If we have contrast in the image, we can isolate white colors with the help of color ramp and turn them into transparent parts. Now we can just plug texture to emission and emission strength to make it emissive. With matte node we can control intensity. An easy way to create a neon sign is to download free SVG files from Google phones or similar sites. You need to activate the Import Export Scalable Vector Graphics add-on in Blender to be able to import SVG files. Be careful, when you import the SVG, it is too small that you think that something is not work correctly, but it does. Place the origin in the middle and press S to scale. There are curved objects as we need, but in my case all the points are not connected, so the depth option under geometry does not work correctly. I solved it by turning the object into a mesh, in edit mode I delete the unnecessary geometry with the limited dissolve and convert it back into a curve object. Now we can add depth and emissive material and we have nice neon signs. You can do the same with the text objects in Blender. Now we can add neon signs to asset browser and we can reuse it next time. First, you need to download this file and place it in a folder on your computer where you usually keep your assets.
You can download the whole package of 70 neon sign from page or link or YouTube join. But if you don't have access to these links, I will share with you a smaller package of 10 neon signs for free in the description so you can continue to follow this tutorial. After that, open Blender file and go to Edit, Preferences, File Paths. Now you can copy and paste the path to your folder where your Blender file is located. Since I already have a folder where I keep my assets, I will delete a new one. Note that inside the main folder, you can also create subfolders and move the Blender file inside the subfolders. Blender will still find the assets inside. Now you need to mark each object in Blender as assets. You can notice that all objects are already marked as assets. This is because I have already done it for you, so you can skip this step. But I will show you what it looks like if it's not already assets. To do this, it is necessary to select the object, in this case neon sign, and right in the viewer layer, right click and mark as assets. In this case, where you have a lot of objects in viewer layer, sometimes it's difficult to find the selected object. If you press the full stop on the numpad keyboard, Blender will find the object for you. Just place the mouse right in the viewer layer. Now we can open the Asset Browser. You may notice that we have two libraries, one that comes from Blender by default and one we created. We also have the Essentials library by default in version 3.6 and later, where we get the Geometry Nose Hair Particles. For start, I recommend going into a library you created to create subfolders for better organization. I already have a folder called My Assets, so I will only create a subfolder. I like to name the folder by source where I found assets and later subfolders by type. But you can organize your folders however you want. Now we need to click on unassign because we haven't assigned a category yet. Be sure that you are in current file. Select all assets and move them to the folder where you want. I also created thumbnails for all assets. Press N on the keyboard and you can replace the default ones. Thumbnails have the same name as assets, so it will be easy to know which thumbnail is for which asset. Now we can close the Blender file, just be sure to save your changes. The next time we open the Blender, we can use the assets that we have saved. change the assets name, thumbnail or else in the asset browser, you need to go back to the Blender file where the assets are located. By pressing the end, you can open the tab where you can change the name, add the thumbnail and find the other options. In this file, each neon sign is a single object for easy of use, but if your model consists of multiple objects, you can add the entire collection as assets. As assets you can also add materials, lights, camera and more.
Emissive materials can be easily changed. If you want to increase the light, look for light intensity label and increase or decrease the value. You can also change the texture with your oven or replace it in the UV editor. Look for the texture label. To animate the light, you can select the node labeled by light intensity and add keyframes with I in the timeline. You can also add a video file instead of an image. 